the middle of your knee. And take baby and lean them towards you as so your weight is supporting them. With a smaller baby, aim to be able to bring it up to do a hood test. With an older baby who can support their own weight, you can take it under their arms, bring it up to their chin and into one hand. The spare hand, gather up from the knee to the intersection of your other hand and repeat on the opposite side. Take into one hand. Then you're looking to remove the slack in the direction that it's come from and just pull it, tease it through. Do not over tighten the top or bottom rail as this will undo your seat. Take the tails into one side and take your free hand index finger up the middle and take the intersection in one hand. Use your spare hand then to bring the baby to your chest. You're going to use this action to bring them up onto your shoulder, receiving their feet and using the slack to lower them down. With a back wrap cross carry, you want them low enough so that you can feel their breathing on your neck, but they're not too high, so sort of lower on your back. Take your index finger down so that you can pop your head through and immediately <coughs> choke yourself. Stick your chest out and your bum out as if you've got a gold star to show off to keep a straight back. Take your arm down until it's just bent and bring it under and into one hand. Tighten the slack from the bottom to the top. So my bottom top is the red rail, so I start tightening from the blue. When I've done that, do the same on the opposite side. Still sticking your bum out. Then do a half knot. And pull tight. Pay attention at that point to which comes over the top and which comes down. I'm going to work with the underneath pass first. And again, you want the top rail. Take it out to the side to keep the tension. Bring it round the back to your receiving hand and your other hand goes inside as if you're putting on a cardigan. And bring it up onto your shoulder and down over their back at the diagonal. When it's reached the opposite knee, hold it in place, pop the slack onto your shoulder and reach for the other rail. So they are now knee to knee. And gather the slack your hand and bring it under baby's leg so that baby's leg can flow free. We're then going to take our shoulder pass and our tail and we're going to pull and push. Sorry we've just dropped our milk and repeat to take the slack and then hold our tail between our legs before repeating on the opposite side. So out to the side, round to our back to our receiving hand, shoulder arm in, bringing it up onto our shoulder and the pass at the diagonal. When it reaches the knee, pin it in place, slap onto your shoulder and pin it at the other knee and take the slap under baby's leg. Before repeating a push pull manoeuvre and you can repeat the other side if you feel you need to until it's nice and tight and then tie in any double knot. I'm going to do a flat reef knot. 
but sits flat against me. If you wish, you can spread your shoulders by pulling the bottom rail down and folding it back up on itself. And down and up. And you can fold up again if you need to. Although some people are going to keep them bunched on their shoulders. And that's it. To get them out, yeah. untie the knot, bring the tails back round to the front. Supporting baby's weight, introduce a couple of inches of slack into our chest belt and lower round and onto our hip and undo our knot. Oh, it.